Hi guys, today I'm replacing the serpentine belt on the 2002 to 2007 Toyota Corolla or corresponding years of the Matrix or the Pontiac Vibe or any other Toyota with the 1ZZ FE engine. I'm hoping to show some good camera angles so that it's easy for you to follow assuming you're planning to do this for the first time. Now let's get this. The very first thing you want to do is to note the orientation of the serpentine belt and starting from the alternator and following the belt downwards you can see that it leaves the alternator and then loops around the water pump and after this it picks up the massive pulley for the AC compressor and then picks up the crankshaft pulley heads upwards loops around the pulley for the automatic tensioner or the idler pulley before picking up the power steering pump pulley and then heading back to the alternator. If this is your first time you may feel free to make a drawing of this or take a picture for reference when you're reinstalling as doing this the wrong way will lead to the belt shredding. The only tool you need is a wrench for relieving the tension on the automatic tensioner and since I don't have a long breaker bar I'll be using the classic double wrench method which uses two combination wrenches to get the work done. Just for some room I'll slide out the power steering fluid reservoir off from its sitting area and move this to the side. I'll start by relieving the automatic tensioner which I engage with the boxed end of my 19 millimeter combination wrench you'll note that there's a leak from the valve cover gasket i've already replaced this with an aftermarket part but unfortunately that didn't work and so i've ordered an oem to do this again i haven't really had good experiences using aftermarket valve cover gaskets so if you know anyone that works give me a shout in the comments i lock up the open end with the boxed end of another combination wrench and then pull towards the front of the vehicle the tensioner relieves and i slide the serpentine belt off the alternate i free it from the rest of the pulleys and remove the serpentine belt. Serpentine belts are meant to be replaced anywhere between 60,000 to 100,000 miles and I'm doing this mostly for preventive purposes as you don't want this snapping on you which could leave you stranded on the way. And for installation I like to start at the rearmost pulley which in this case is the power steering pulley. You may need to use a stick or something else. Here I'm using my extendable pickup tool to get it in place. Space is tight and it's difficult to get your hand down there. That goes in and next you want to maintain a bit of tension on the serpentine belt to prevent it from going off any pulley that you've already secured. I looped the lower band of the serpentine belt around the idler pulley. This was one of the trickier pulleys to secure in place but just take your time and then pick up the crankshaft pulley. Crankshaft pulley is now secure and we're done from the rear of the vehicle. From the crankshaft pulley I then secure the AC compressor pulley and then continue to secure that for the water pump. At this point it's just the alternator pulley that is left. I pull back on the automatic tensioner bolt. The tension relieves and I slide the serpentine belt over the alternator. You're not done yet it's best practice to inspect how the serpentine belt sits on all the pulleys and while doing this you can clearly see that it's not well aligned on the water pump pulley and so I relieve the tension again and set the serpentine belt sitting properly on this pulley. With everything now looking good it's now time to start the car. With the engine running one last inspection and you can see everything is running smooth. Hope this has been helpful. Catch you on the next one. Peace.